This guy is the best for kill streaks. I don't know his name. He's just if you can't play the game, you just you just put his turret out. <laughs> Come on, look, see, look at all the kill streaks, baby. Yes, he's number one. I don't even know how to play this game, and I just rack up these kill streaks. Love it. Yes, more, 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 more. Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. All right. You are watching now the i9, the 8 core i9. What is it? The 4.8 version. So it's not the 5 gigahertz version. Don't get the 5 gigahertz version. I've made a a video about this do not waste your time trust me i've tested it enough to know that um yeah it's a waste of time these guys are pounding me someone heal me thank you thank you thank you um yeah so vega 20 32 gigs ram and we have the i9 eight cores ninth generation baby and yeah let's see how it games i'll put up some uh, benchmarks um very soon he's protected me oh thank you very much um and you see that, yes, it is faster than the last version for gaming. Ooh, I'll tell you now, for content creation and other stuff, yeah, it is faster. Look, it is the fastest Mac I've ever used, MacBook or whatever, laptop. It's faster than even the last i9, even like every test is faster. We'll bar some single threaded tests. But um, in gaming, it is faster too. So it's a win-win all round. I wouldn't say it's a great difference from the i9 because I have the last generation's i9 from the i7 and will be a bigger difference because they don't clock as high as this i9 oh no and yeah let's have a look at benchmarks we'll go through some gameplay and yeah I think you're going to enjoy this if you like gaming I see it I see it but I don't believe it this thing here is drawing sometimes 100 watts now, if you have a look there, the telemetry top left, running Unigen Heaven plus Prime 95, as you can see, the CPU usage is at 100%. And I've got to say, there is power limit um, throttling. You'll see that. It's not, doesn't seem to be thermal. The thermals are like in the 80s, as you can see, CPU and GPU. Uh, 70s in the GPU, uh, 80s in the CPU. But you might see it stutter every now and then. And that's power limit throttling for sure, because... It's telling me right now, let me have a look. 60 watts on the GPU, is that right? I don't think so. Plus 25 watts. Sometimes it's saying it's using up to 100 watts. I don't know how accurate this hardware info is, but um, I know for sure it draws from the battery. And that's really bad because why it's bad is when it draws from the battery your battery goes to like 97 and then it will start charging again you don't want that that'll kill your battery like within months like if that keeps happening it draws from the battery goes to 97 starts charging fully charges again that's like the worst thing you want to happen only gaming sort of does this so obviously it's drawing more than 87 watts the power supply can supply actually thinking of buying the dell 130 watt USB-C charger just because it needs a bigger power supply than 97 watts Well, certainly with gaming video editing and stuff like that. You won't notice it I do notice when I render videos and video edit I do draw from my battery even when I'm in Mac OS, but I have to say Given how thin this is look you sort of started then given how thin this is and how light it is the thermals are fine like 80s in the 80s it's still running fine. This is at 1440p, by the way, and it's not even full screen. So, yeah, pretty good. And, you know, it's 100% CPU. It's the ultimate torture test. The only bad thing is it needs a bigger power supply. Now, what should I do? Should I get... Look, oh, look at that stutter there. Look at that. Oh, she's really... Fr oh, that was a big stutter. That was power limit throw-in for sure right then. Right then. Um, yeah, I think it needs a bigger power supply. 
I wonder if I get a 100 watt power supply or I'll get the 130 from the XPS 2 in 1 because that gives me some headroom. You're only supposed to be able to go up to 100 watts of USB C, but they'll have a custom one. It needs a, a bigger power supply so you don't drain from the battery, you don't kill your battery. This thing can game, don't worry about that. Yeah, this is the ultimate limit here. And you know, that's not too bad. I've seen other laptops that are worse than this that are thicker so and windows laptops you know thicker and heavier so foot of size and weight you can't complain 100 watts are you kidding me all right so we're getting over 60 70 frames per second what do we got 22 13 watts 2.2 it seems to lock in around that 2.2 the gpu is going hard 1200 megahertz and yeah 78 and 78 degrees not particularly hot compared to some gaming laptops that are well into the 90s oh there we go we hit 99 degrees on the cpu there yeah talk too soon of course and yeah i would say this is good gaming performance what more do you want medium settings 60 frames per second easily 60 frames per second should i say um got to be happy with that oh get out of there come on Woo! How did I get in first person mode? I cannot use a control. This is bad. How do I get out of it? I don't know. All right, V, keyboard, let's do it. Let's do a bit of stream sniping here. Let somebody kill me. And yeah, look, 60 frames, no problem. So this game's hard, actually. 1.2, it's very similar to a um, 1050 Ti. It's very similar. I have to say and this isn't even the good drivers this isn't the ones from bootcampdrive.com the latest uh, drivers from AMD this is just whatever Apple give you which isn't the best by the way someone's got to kill me in here seriously hello anybody home fellas kill me kill me look no real throttling all right it's under you know base speed whatever two point here we go hello come to me my darling come oh shotgun will do it every time there you go son and yeah over 60 frames per second 2.2 all right so it's not 2.3 the base speed big deal um still getting good game performance i have to say i'm liking it boom boom walking down the only road i ever known like a prisoner i was born to walk alone but i made up my mind oh we've got some action here look well over 50 frames about 55 frames per second let's fix these fellas up with a slice and dice action boom oh do not kill me you ugly beast die you too you got bad breath see you later stinky all right, where's the next one? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hello. You're back again. You want some more? Whew. He's into bondage, this bloke. Yes. All right. Look at that. Still stayed out of 50 frames. Still stayed over 50 frames, even through that action. And yeah, playing Witcher 3, medium settings, 1080p. And if you want to play on the Mac resolution, put it down to 1050. You'll get even higher frames per second. But if I'm getting... You know 55 53 you know 50 frames per second on witcher every other game will play 60 frames per second at medium so yeah you got to be happy with that um let's see the cpu usage goes down to that 2.2 that that's fine temperatures yeah it will creep up into the 90s and that clock see how it's four gigahertz then it went down to two gigahertz yeah all right it fluctuates up and down once it hits that 90s backs off but that gpu is still going what are we going at here 1200 so it's been well over a thousand and you know the gpu used to be locked at a thousand with these macbook pros so yeah good gaming performance on this you got to be happy with this if you're getting this on witcher and even then i got oh we had a little bit of a stutter there but even then um if you're going to get you know 50 frames with this and i nearly got 60 just before yeah you're going to play any game at medium settings no problem so this is good for gaming catch ya tally ho